Hello everyone. In this SOLIDWORKS simulation tutorial, you will learn how we can assign or simulate the bearing load. And in order to apply the bearing load, first of all, you need one thing that is a coordinate system. So, first of all, I request you to open this 3D model of this bearing housing and open it in SOLIDWORKS. After that, so start a new simulation study. Just click on the simulation tab and start a new study. You can give it a specific name of your own choice. And please ensure that static study type is selected. Okay. After that, you will assign the material that is AISI 304. Apply close so in order to apply the bearing load on this lower face in the negative y directions you have to make a coordinate system that the axis z axis of that new coordinate system should be aligned with axis of this bearing housing you can see this is the axis of this bearing housing so Please ensure that the Z axis of new coordinate system should be aligned with this axis. So, in order to make a new coordinate system, first of all, make a sketch on this face and select or, or draw a point at the center of this housing. Okay. Exit from sketch now. Now keep this sketch selected. You can see, just select this sketch and from the features, go to the reference geometry and here select the coordinate system. Then again, select this point. Here you can see that red is the x-axis and the blue one is the z-axis and this z-axis is aligned with the axis of this housing and the this green one is the vertical y axis so we have created a coordinate system that is here so again go to static simulation study of the bearing housing and from the loads first of all before defining the loads just apply a fixed boundary conditions at the bottom face of this bearing housing. After that, go to the loads and select the bearing load. From here, select the cylindrical face that is this one. And from the coordinate system, select this new coordinate system. And from here, y axis, define the load that is 48,500 Newton. Just reverse the direction. You can see load is being applied in this y directions. Sorry, 45,800. 45,800. Again, we go to create mesh because here the element size is much lower. Just increase the element size that is the 15 and minimum element size is 3. Okay. And wait until mesh is being created. So I think this is not a feasible mesh. Again, just uh, decrease the maximum element size to 12 millimeter and observe what happened with new element sizes. Okay, now run your study. So our simulation study has been completed. You can see 
the maximum the stress is in y and x directions in the y directions change units to megapascal and this floating to scale so the maximum stress in the y axis normal stress is 28 megapascal again go to the stress plot and check the maximum one major stresses with the true scale that is 19 megapascal that is very very less than that of the yield strength of the material that is 206 megapascal similarly you can check the displacement just make the true scale so maximum displacement is very very less that is 0 0.0028 millimeter so in this tutorial you have learned how we can assign or define the bearing loads on the bearing housings i hope you enjoyed this solidworks simulation tutorials thank you for watching